Hey everyone, this is Josh with a fun cryptography and security tutorial for you today. In this video, we're going to be discussing hash and digital signature verification of files such as pieces of software. We're going to be talking about why it's important to use and verify hashes and digital signatures uh, when sharing and downloading pieces of software. Uh, whether that be something for an end user or a library that's included in your application. We're going to talk about the subtle differences between these two concepts um, and how they help ensure the security of a supply chain when it comes to software. So why do we need file hashes and digital signatures? Well, uh, at a very high level, we need it to verify that any software that we download or really any type of file or message is legitimate. Um, it comes from where we expect and it contains the data that we expect. So first, let's talk about hashes. And the concept that we think of with hashes is that they ensure the software's integrity. Uh, this means ensuring that a file hasn't changed in transit. For example, you download a software package from a website onto your computer. What you would do is you would generate a secure hash of that file using, say, SHA-256 and compare it to the hash that is listed uh, on the website that you got the software from. Uh, the reason that this sort of ensures the integrity of the file, that the file hasn't changed, is that any uh, change in the software that occurred maybe in transit or if there was some malicious man in the middle attack, just changing one bit would radically change the resulting hash of that file. So if somebody does tamper with the file in transit in some way and you get a different hash on your end than the website has listed, you know something is wrong and you can make another attempt to get a copy of that software. Now, there's another concept that we need to talk about, which is authenticity. And this is a little bit different than integrity, and usually when we talk about authenticity in this context, we're talking about digital signatures. So instead of just comparing hash values for a piece of software, um, what we're gonna do is ensure that a file is from the intended sender. Uh, the software developer will sign the software package with their private key, and they will share their public key, hopefully make it widely available, and you can use software to verify that the digital signature matches uh, the public key of the uh, software developer. So this, not, uh, this doesn't just ensure the integrity, but it ensures the authenticity of that file. It doesn't just ensure that the software got correctly from point A to point B, but it also ensures that it came from the intended recipient. Now, why is this different than just comparing hash values? Well, the only person that can provide a valid signature for any particular pub key is the holder of the private key. And so, uh, the software developer has to have the correct private key in order to provide a digital signature. So there's a subtle difference here. A digital signature is much harder to forge in this context than a hash would be. Let's say that an attacker, somebody that wants to replace a software package with a malicious one, uh, is able to compromise the download website. So they are now able to put the malicious version of software on the download website. They're very likely also going to be able to change uh, the listed hash for that file. So they can generate a hash of the malicious file, put it up there with the software package, and when you download it and you go to verify that hash, you will get a correct uh, hash. You'll get a matching hash output. All that you've ensured is that you have correctly uh, gotten a copy of the malicious software. So that's an integrity check, but not an authenticity check. However, the signing a private key for a piece of software, at least hopefully, is stored in a much more secure location uh, than the uh, hash would be. So for example, on a key store somewhere uh, where it's not in contact with a public facing web server. 
The only way that an attacker could compromise you in that case is if they provide a uh, trick you into believing that a different public key is supposed to be the signing key for that software. So you can mitigate this sort of attack by making sure that your correct public key is widely distributed across different places. You can put it on different PGP servers that are public. You can have others, uh, you know, assert that that key is you, uh, something that we call the web of trust. You can put the fingerprint out on social media. And as long as you know that people have your correct public key, an attacker cannot forge a digital signature for that piece of software. So this is why authenticity is similar but different to our integrity check. And why really you should be doing both. Um, if you're dealing with any important pieces of software. So again, you know, these sort of attacks can be mitigated by making sure that both your hashes and your signatures and your public keys are widely distributed so that, uh, say, if just your download server is compromised but your uh, developer Twitter account is not, you have copies of your public key uh, in different PGP servers, it makes it much harder for people that are doing these checks correctly uh, to be tripped up by an attacker. So, you know, you probably don't verify signatures on every piece of software that you use, but especially for, um, you know, packages that are important to you, uh, maybe it's a piece of security or privacy software that you care about, or if you're talking about the software supply chain, the uh, packages that a developer uses to create bigger pieces of software. So your libraries, your shared, uh, you know, packages in whatever language that you use. It's important to think about these things when we're talking about developing secure software and also for us as end users uh, in any critical application. So I hope you found this tutorial interesting and informative. And as always, thanks for learning something new with me today.